Naji here. Welcome to my YouTube channel. So we are continuing our discussion with data pre-processing and in this video we are going to discuss about how can we handle missing values using mean, median, mode and also we will be discussing about a method called backfilling and the forward filling. Okay. So here I have created a data set and which is a simple data set. So I will show you here we can just print df dot head okay so we can see that we have nearly five records and the column names are or feature names are a b c d e and we have a as only one value and b has like a couple of uh, floating values and three floating values and one nan and c is fully nan and d is uh, we have only two values actually uh, actually we have three values and one is nat and the column name e is a categorical variable okay so it has a values like two doctor and one is nat and <coughs> last one is nurse so as we studied or as we discussed in our last video we can type like df dot info so this will give us a, a fair idea about our features so here we can easily see that uh, the first three okay first um, zero one to the a b c d the first four features are floating values and last one is object type so which is um, says that is a categorical variable okay now now we can see that the column number c is actually uh, a full of empty values nan values so which will not um, contribute to our model training okay so we can remove that so i can create a new model or new data frame not a model say a data frame called a df clean one okay df clean we can call it as df clean here we can do a df dot drop na so i want to delete axis one that is the column and the uh, how will be all so when all features are empty or all columns are values are empty then I need to remove it okay so we can check what happens with df.clean so the feature C is gone now so we can see that it is a b c d e a b c d e okay and not C is there a b d e okay now now data is clean now we can discuss about mean imputation okay we are going to discuss discuss about mean imputation okay so mostly we will be handling the mean imputation in two ways okay one is we can discuss with how can we do that using the data frame okay in the second scenario we can discuss about how can we do that using the uh, SKL. Okay. So first, the mean imputation is applied to only the floating point, only the numbers, not for the categorical features. So first, we need to select the categorical, non-categorical features from this data frame. So here we know that the categorical feature has a data type as a float, right? So we can select non-categorical column names. Non-categorical columns okay. so there is a this is our cleaned data frame okay so there is a method called select data type here I can say that exclude there is a method called exclude I can say that please exclude the data type object then give me the column columns should be a s here is executing okay this is done now we can see what is that non categorical categorical columns I can print it here okay so we have only a B D so this is the non categorical columns now we can calculate the mean of that for that let me create a mean value uh, maybe before that I can create a df a data frame with me here I can make a copy of the data frame okay so this is our data frame that is called clean 
okay i am making a copy of df.clean so i am making a co copy because like we have to do lot of things so if you don't have this copy like i have to every time i have to create this data file okay that is why we created the copy now i can print the mean okay so mean we are good okay this is our new data frame okay now we are going to calculate the mean value okay so here i am going to create a variable called means okay so here we have a mean okay now i can i can see that here we have a non column names non categorical columns then simply i am going to type the mean so this will calculate the mean of all these non categorical columns so if i print on that we can say that this is the mean okay now what we will do we can apply df dot mean okay dot fill and name so this is a very important method that we discussed this this is fill and name so this fill and name we can apply this mean okay now i am going to execute this now let me make it fill and name in place is equal to true Good. now i can print df dot mean okay. here we can see that our data frame df dot mean data frame is updated with the mean values okay so except e that is a categorical so we have already run with a b d so this is one way of handling the mean value okay now we can we can discuss with uh, what we call the sklearn okay so for that what i can do i can import sklearn there is a function called impute okay so i can i can import symbol imputer okay so once that is imported i can um, create a object called the sim imputer we can give any name here so let me create the object symbol imputer then we can make the uh, starter g should be coming start okay starter g i can set it as a me so we have the imputer is ready okay now let me add few cells here okay very good now uh, we can create a new another mean with imputer okay i am going to make a, another clean copy here okay so we got our new data frame imbu so this is the data frame that we are going to work so here we can see that there are nands are there all those things are there okay we discussed that okay now now we can apply fit and transform method so here next step is i can have a sim imputer dot fit i can take df dot me imputer data frame here i can pass non categorical variables non categorical column so this will calculate the the fit okay so the fit part is done now we can do the transform okay so here i can say that df underscore me imputer now select cat non categorical Categorical columns. Okay, so here I can say that uh, symbol imputer dot 
transform okay what need to be transformed so that's be transformed df mean in blue non categorical columns okay now let me execute this it says sim okay its name is little different it sim in beta okay so the execution is done here we can see df mean dot imputer if you click on this you can see that we can see that it is imputation is done so the columns a b d are what we called is uh, now transformed or filled with is um mean values okay now the same method we are going to repeat for mod and median and mod okay so first we can discuss about mean i mean median so mean we already discussed so median imputation you can say that just say that median imputer okay so in my one of my previous videos i have discussed with the difference between mean median and mod so i will not be repeating that here so maybe i will share that url you guys can go and check that if you don't know the difference between mean and median and where we will be using the mean and median okay so here i can um, create a data frame i can make a df dot uh, clean one clean dot copy can be created okay so this uh, data frame median df dot median yes we are good so maybe let me uh, go back here okay so we have the non categorical columns are there so maybe i can copy this one okay I can copy this one let me paste it here here df dot so we are what we are going to do we are going to take df dot mean and we are going to take those columns those non categorical columns then we are going to calculate the median okay so we have that median is ready now what we will do we will have a df dot median dot fill in a i can fill with the medians then to reflect that i can set replace is equal to in place is equal to true okay now we have df dot median let me print it see so the median is uh, this also fill with the median cool now here also we can we can do the same method same imputer method okay so for that maybe i will go a little faster here uh, imputer like df dot clean dot copy okay so everything is same with the imputer so maybe uh, i can say that median imputer okay only thing is a symbol uh, imputer i can set as a star g okay here we have the starter the only thing is that with respect to starter g this will be median okay so that is the only difference with this okay i can set it as median okay so we have the imputer is ready okay so we can go back now we can do the median imputer dot fit okay so here we can use the df underscore median underscore imputer oh, no, sorry yeah media imputer then here we can set the non categorical columns okay so here we are doing the fit method Okay, let me execute that okay so now the imputer is ready now we can do the transform okay so we can median 
computer here we can select the non categorical columns so here we have the median imputer media imputer dot now we can do the transform part okay media import transform okay which all columns we need to transform okay so we need to transform median imputer non categorical columns so here we will do the transform for this many columns then that will be assigned to the df dot median okay so this is also done okay now we can do a print so which is uh, similar to uh, the mean imputer so which is also done okay very easy one but very important step during when we do the data cleanup now we can do how we will do the mode mode imputer okay. usually mode is applied to the categorical columns okay so first we can create a uh, mode a df dot mode we can make a clean copy the copy of the that clean one clean data uh, frame so this is our mode i can print it here okay now what we need to do we need to select only this column okay categorical columns okay so how we will select that so i can set that categorical categorical column okay so here we can select df dot mode dot select select data type okay earlier we did a exclude right so here i am saying include what need to be included include object okay. dot column so this will include the categorical columns now we can print it here so categorical column so we have only e is there right so now we can apply the mode okay so mode is uh, very similar so what i can do i can write as a mode okay now i can select a cat categorical column here also i can say that df dot df mode dot fill in a df mode now categorical column Here we will be calculating the mode, and I need to select the I log zero. Now let me execute this. Column must be same length as key. Okay, so something is wrong here. This is the categorical column. Here we have a df dot mode categorical column and df mode fill n a. df dot mode categorical column okay now mode dot i log so let me check this you can do a quick debugging okay here i am missing a bracket let me add that not this bracket okay this is working fine so here we can see that we are filling this with uh, <coughs> the column uh, so here we have a uh, we had a like a nan so that is actually filling with the mode so mode is most repeating one so here the most frequent one is doctor so that is filling with the uh, door uh, i mean doctor okay so maybe uh, something wrong with assigning this so what i will do for the time being i am just removing this 
okay so here we can do a fill and a, i can set a in place is equal to true i'm sure that we can do the other way but this will also work okay so we don't need to worry about the that issue that is happened okay so that is done so we we have that imputation is done okay now the similar way uh, like we have done the um, the imputation with the sklearn right in the similar way we can do the um, for the mode also for that i can have a i can uh, have a mode imputer okay i can make a clean copy okay so we have the clean copies there now i can create a imputer here i can create a symbol imputer only thing that is that we need to think about is about the strategy usually i always make a spelling mistake here so that's why okay strategy here we need to set most frequent so this is the only thing that we need to worry now the rest of the code is same i can do a fit now i can select a df dot mode imputer okay now here i can select a category get column okay the imputer is ready now i can set Uh, here I can set the df dot mode imputer categorical column. I can set that imputer dot transform df mode imputer. I can say that categorical column. let me execute this so this is also done now i can do a df dot mode in mm. mm. not model this mode okay so that is also done right so here <coughs> earlier it was nan now it is uh, uh, filled that with the most frequent one that is doctor okay now two more methods that we can quickly discuss okay so there is one is um, forward fill and other one is backward fill okay so maybe we will be discussing about forward fill method so this forward fill method usually okay. this forward fill and backward fill usually we will do with uh, the time series data okay forward fill so maybe uh, i can create a copy okay df dot fill fill this time i'm going to make a copy from the root one okay so this this will have that c column also just to see what will happen okay okay here we have all the a b c is also there okay now <coughs> I will show you what will uh, what will happen when we do the forward fill. Forward fill is very simple. df dot fill fill and a then method is equal to f fill. I will explain this one. Okay, so f fill. So see these two. Okay, so in the forward fill, the data will be the empty data will be filled with the previous value. Okay. So consider this a column here, a column here. So n a n is empty. Okay. So since it is the first value, so nothing is there to fill, right? The second value is three. Then the third value is nine. Okay. So this value is filled with the previous value. Okay. Forward fill. Okay. So this will be filled the three. The three will be here. Now we will have the uh, third one. So third one will also fill with the three. 
okay the previous value so similar way here it is repeating see 2 4 the 4 will be coming here then 3 since it is everything is empty so this column will be empty here now coming to the d so here the 1 this this value is empty so it will be filled with the previous value so here we can see that doctor doctor is there so the third one was empty but that is filled with the the previous value okay now in the dot fill i can do a backward fill okay so just let me execute this b fill i believe so b fill is executing i believe that is correct b fill some of it is taking some time usually it won't uh, i don't know what happened uh, let me delete this cell okay let me delete cell and add a cell here i'm going to repeat the same thing df dot fill dot fill na fill na method equal to b fill b fill i'm checking my spelling is correct okay so in b fill see the difference b fill uh, maybe uh, let me print the okay i believe every, okay so see the one so this is our first one and the root one so this is the f fill and this is the back fill so here um, it is actually filled with this first two are nan right okay so in the back fill so we it will do the reverse of the forward fill okay this nan this nan so now three okay the now here the first one is empty so this will be filled with the three the back back one so that is also filled here okay so <coughs> the same way repeating with the other features see this e column okay so e column in the forward fill it is filled with the doctor okay but in the backward way it is filled with the nurse because the nurse is below this this nan value okay so i believe this is clear usually we will we will uh, we will like use these two methods together okay something like this fill dot fill na i can say that method equal to f fill dot this will be uh, i can say that fill na method equal to b fill okay see now it is every, everything is filled so which one need to be first that can be decided by after discussing with your domain expert they may be help you on this case okay so i believe this was a, like a uh, good discussion i have explained a lot of things with respect to uh, imputations so we discussed about mean imputation mode median imputation mode and backfill and the forward fill okay so i will attach this google collab notebook with my video you guys can freely use this one then yep please do like and subscribe have a nice day bye bye